All right, so just looking at the groups once again before we go into Hey Pro versus Nama, Adele Scott has to beat Sassy if he wants to stay in. Enjoy. They, that was that, you know, we talked about that group a little bit in Group H, which is where Sasse is probably going to beat everybody. Yep. So the game between Merz and Adele Scott, the loser has to beat Sasse, has to beat Sasse. Yep. And so Adele Scott is going up against Sasse pretty much now, so he has to win that one. Uh, and just looking at the other games going on, Nurcio 2-0, surprise, surprise. Um, Nurcio goes 2-0 versus Nama. Hey Pro 2-0 versus Kenzie. Didn't even know Kenzie still played, the French player. Um, oh, Nurcio, yeah, I haven't cast him in ages. Nurcio 2-0, Hey Pro. Surprise, surprise. Nurcio is just so sick. Uh, and we're going into uh, Nama versus Hey Pro. If Hey Pro manages to win, Nama has to win, basically. If Nama yeah. doesn't win, you know. So we've He's got dressed. invites into the game. You should have not had one yet, but you should Yeah, do. I haven't had one just yet. Maybe Hey Pro just doesn't like me. Okay, so he's doing that right now. Yep, certainly hope that isn't the case. Hey Pro is awesome. Hey Pro, actually, if you recall, do you remember how many Dream Hacks Hey Pro has actually won? Three. Yes, I think it is. Was it four? No, oh, three. It three, yeah. And of course, in that Starcraft was needless to say in Brood War. Yeah. Okay, so invite into the, into the game. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, there, there we is. go. I've got it now. There's there a bit go. of a delay there, but okay, so pretty much ready for not you playing, but wait, that's the wrong way around. There it is. All right, set myself as ref. There was a little mind game myself then. I'm like, dun, 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 dun. All right, are you ready? I am ready. All right, so it looks like we are gonna, I'll set you as ref, and we're gonna go into this best of three series. Um, looking at the schedule as well, 10 past four. Our next game is gonna be, if me and you stay here, that is, gonna be Phoenix and Cytoplasm at 5.30, so in one hour, 20 minutes away, but we still have this amazing game coming up between Liquid, Hey Pro, and Nama. This is going to be a good game for sure. Oh, yeah. Well, hey Pro with amazing form at MLG. It's absolutely destroying people. I mean, it's so good to see, honestly. <laughs> and let's see if he can deal with Nama, who has, let's be honest, not been on the best form lately. All right, let's go. Get ready for this kick-ass game. And both players have said go. I was a little bit worried then about Hey Pro. But they are into the Shakira's Plateau, first destination for this first best of three game between these two crazy, crazy guys. Though, in terms of who they are, Hey Pro should be the better player, and I'll explain why soon. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to bring you uh, Liquid Hey Pro. He is in the red trunks, and he is playing Zerg to the southwest of this particular map, which is, of course, the Shakira's Plateau versus his opponent. Switch teams to East Sahara very recently. Having left Virus, it is Nama. He is in the blue trunks, and he is uh, playing Terran to the northeast. So, Nama, from Finland, of course. Yep. And ever since he is remember the reigning dreamhack winter champion so don't forget yes, that is. guys he did win dreamhack winter last year where he went for an epic epic series against Na uh, mana, mana. Yep. and already i'm starting the nama 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 yeah. yeah that was tough um, yeah. but anyway you know ever since then you know what has nama done i mean he hasn't Not done anything he didn't do well in wcg finland he's done a, a few cups here and there um, fourth place in a land earlier in, in March or whatever, but pretty much nothing. He's really fallen off the radar as a player. Um, on the other hand, Hey Pro equally hasn't done anything in StarCraft 2. He, until last weekend. Yes, where, where he, he killed off a little known Korean player. Yeah, I mean, he went two, uh, well, there's a lot of two ones involved. Two zero Illusion, two one Kiwi Kaki, two one Select, two one Nest T. You know, what the hell? Where did that come from? Um, yeah. And you know, to be I honest, he should have had MVP as well. If we're totally honest there, it was so, so very close. There were plenty of moments where he could have won those games as well. Hey Pro just went beast mode. And yeah. I've been saying it for ages. Hey Pro is at some point going to go crazy and awesome things are going to happen. And we actually saw it there at MLG. Yeah, he's a very talented player. Yeah. Great mechanics. When he plays, though, that's the biggest problem with Hey Pro is that he doesn't play that much. Um, you know, he's got religious commitments with the family and so yeah. on that uh, this allows him to play. Uh, and it's a bit of a problem because obviously within StarCraft 2, such a demanding game where all your competitors are playing so much, it's, you know, difficult to, to, to kind of keep up with. Yeah. So um, will he be able to kind of feed off his high, should I say, from last weekend? Because that was a great high. Finishing seventh overall, a fantastic result for Team Liquid, a fantastic result for Haypro himself. And uh, we do see the extractor first before spawning pool. Will be wanting to go into gas pretty much immediately. 
Yes, I should certainly, so, certainly hope so. He's already done so and grabbed that one. And uh, just the normal, normal fast expansion coming up to the bottom right there. Nama, I'm interested to see what he tries to do. Could, of course, be the whole uh, good old reactor Hellion thing going on here. Well, he's not building another thing out of the barracks. We'll see if when he gets... He's at 50 gas now. So, no, there we go. He's just coming in a little bit late right there. So reactor Hellion coming up from Nama. And uh, having not really seen Nama all that much, I think the last time I actually cast Nama was at Assembly, if I recall correctly. Yeah, Assembly Summer. Yep. So it was a while ago, so I don't know how his playstyle has really evolved since then. And even then, he wasn't that performing well. No, in that he wasn't. Either, he really so. wasn't. <coughs> On the other hand, sorry, excuse my projectile coughing, is that I actually can't prevent it, unfortunately. Uh, the thing is, this is, we're, you know, we're in the um, kind of presence of two DreamHack champions in their respective, you know, times and yep. elements. Yep. StarCraft Brood War and also StarCraft Two. Uh, so, at the same time, we have to be respectful because they are two fantastic players here. Meanwhile, there is that reactor Hellion in place and an early starport here from Nama coming down. So, basically, what we're going to see from Nama is he's going to be elevating uh, Hellion and Marines into the main base. So, I'm a little bit surprised that, you know, he hasn't walled in or anything. So, he may want to build a supply depot or something in that wall in because right now, he's kind of faking an expansion. But in the meantime, it's not really working out so well. Yeah, the Hellions will be spotted. He doesn't know about the dropships just yet. The medivacs coming out of that starport. And that scouting information will be denied to him. Yeah, so. that's pretty good. I, I quite like that. I mean, he has fooled uh, Haypro. Haypro doesn't know nothing. He thinks it's expansion. So that's actually pretty good from uh, Nama right now. We have seen Haypro take out a gas. He's not mining gas. He's just focusing on double queens, triple queens, quadruple queens coming up now, actually. So four queens all coming. Does build a few links to deal with Hellions, but he's not prepared for Hellion Marine in the main base for sure. No, he's not. It's a very, very powerful early attack that can do significant economic damage, which is its purpose, honestly. And even these two Hellions have actually done a lot of damage to start with. And now more coming in to reinforce. Wow. He's not lost a single Hellion. Great control there by Nama. Four workers killed. A good start. Really, really good start. Speed is now done, so he won't be able to get up there. And that's the problem if you cut a spine crawler and add additional queens, is the window between spine crawler and queens completing. And uh, now comes down the command center, and God, I need a toilet. Why am I so <laughs> stupid to start a best of three series when I need a toilet? But never mind, four Hellions are going to come through now, and they are going to drop into the main base very, very shortly. And four links in production, six already out, that's not enough. It's not enough. No, the it's Queens not. will help out. There are two damaged Hellions, remember, so he may be able to deal with this okay. Yeah, certainly a possibility. Those two are very, very low. If he gets good target fire on the weak target, he doesn't, though. He's actually shooting at the one that's closer to it, which is unfortunate. Nice oh, nice pickup. Pick up. Very good. Enormous. Crazy control going on at the minute. And he's four small links to come out. He's, you know, doing okay. Inject. There's, yeah. There's no... I'm surprised we've only gone back into gas with two drones rather than three. It's slowing his layer down heavily right now. If he wants to go, obviously, for a layer. But it looks like we are going to see a relatively fast third here. And oh, no, the Hellions are going to meet up. Oh, yes, they've met their doom in the middle of the map, potentially, but he should be able to kill all of them. He'll take some damage. He may lose the back Hellion. I th uh, yes, there oh. it goes. And maybe one more as well. So, yeah, that could have definitely gone better for Nama. Yeah, hero to zero in the last 30 seconds with Ouch. Hellion control, unfortunately. Yeah. But meanwhile, the, the basic follow-up, two barracks here uh, with the stem beam research as well. Surprisingly, we haven't seen tanks coming out, just still producing Hellions. Yeah. Uh, and a Banshee, which is coming out, you know, a little bit unique. You know, you don't really see this uh, unorthodox style from Terran very often, but that th that single Banshee is going to be able to harass that third base. But with four Queens, the creep spreads so good that Queens are going to be able to go over there quite easily. Yeah, that's what I'm really liking there from Hey Pro, the decision to get those early queens. It did leave him vulnerable to that initial harassment. Some damage was done, but it's now he's now reaping the dividends from that decision. And as a result, those Hellions are going to have to go on creep, and they could potentially be annihilated very rapidly. The queen's already coming in. He can actually uh, try to block off that ramp right there with the queens and the links. Try to chase him away. They do some damage, and now uh, taking a few <laughs> hits here and there, but nothing he really needs to worry about too much. That third is now getting attacked by Nalmo's Banshee and those queens may even have to limp over there because otherwise this is going to be destroyed. Yeah, and basically these queens floating around like this in the center of the map, he's not love injecting on the natural. Nope. So we're actually seeing April's macro slip up and he's meant to be well known for his macro right now. Look at the drone count at 36. He's expecting so much aggression right now. He doesn't know that Nama's expanded and so on and so on. He can obviously presume because there's a lot of stuff coming at him. But he's, he's playing on such a low drone count. Seven drones being made right now. 
which should have been made a long time ago, and he doesn't quite have the economy to build the units he needs. Oh, there's now two Banshees, which means those Queens are going to start going down very, very fast, as you can see. The Banshees barely even care about the Queen fire card power coming in. A couple of Bane Links trying to engage, and oh, that, that was Marine. not exactly what I call a great trade, honestly. 24 more links are on the way though, but this third base is under threat. Two Banshees are going to pick it off very, very shortly. He, he doesn't have an answer. Now. He has no answer to this now. He's only got two Queens and there are two Banshees in the air. And that's just not going to work. It's as simple as that. Any attempt by the Queens to move out will get picked off by the Marines. He's yeah. cut this in half. <coughs> Pre spread is not going to help anyone. And down goes the hatchery right about now. So Hatchery does go down very nicely uh, play from here uh, by Nami. He's also taken a third command center really, really low on units, but he's able to do so. A Raven surprisingly coming out as well. You know, Nama's pulling out all the stops right now. That I'm is really it. surprising. Double Ravens. Basically what double Ravens are going to be useful more than anything right now is obviously the point defense drone is going to help out a little bit, but more importantly, the auto turrets are going to be really good to harass drone lines with. They survive yeah, for they're ages. Wonderful for that. They're really good against Zerglings, but we do see the Spire on its way now. So look at the gas. Even though Hapro's drone production on minerals has been really lacking, He's basically been in four gases in the entire of the game. So he's almost at 900 gas. It's going to be about 1,000. So 10 mules are about to pop out. Yep. There's, uh, there's no combat shields on these Marines. It's still on its way. So 10 mules is going to be quite nice here. Yeah, the pressure is going to come in, though, before that. It's going to cancel that upgrade immediately. And Nama can get nice and aggressive. Now, those Banshees are still a threat. As soon as the Mutalist count goes up, which is about now, then that won't be a problem. Double Ravens is an interesting decision here from Nama, and I have to wonder if he's considering the possibility of a large number of muters, because you should never count out the possibility of Seeker Missile in that scenario. Yeah, but Seeker Missile is so expensive it to is, upgrade, yeah. so I, I really don't think we're going to see that. It's, well, it's not so expensive, 150, 150, but at the same time, it's, it's gas you don't really want to be spending on it when yep. you're trying to upgrade for, uh, well, get upgrades and so on. So I really do feel that these point defense drones are going to be more important than anything here. One Banshee is harassing the expansion once again, but Mulus are out now, and with the Raven it's very, very slow and can get picked off relatively easy here. But the point defense drone, the, the auto turret more importantly, is going to be so good. He's literally going to be able to throw four down or so in a fight, and Zerglings are going to become a lot ineffective, especially with Hellions flying around, or not flying, but driving around the map. Yeah, yeah, and Auditorium's going to be a pain as well because, of course, they're stationary ground structures which can yeah. get in the way and they can be used to create small artificial choke points. The Mutalus count is not high enough to really harass right now. It's only at 10. There's plenty of missile turrets available right now for Nama as well. Baneling speed coming in, which is a really, really good choice. Unfortunately, what? I don't know what that's about. No, um, I, I Either no way, um, I mean, he's in trouble right now, and that is Hey Pro is in trouble yeah. simply because... Mulus are getting picked off, third base is not up. Maybe Nama's like, clap, clap, I'm doing okay. I don't know, because he's doing okay right now. He's at 120 supply, Thor is building as well, third base up and running. He's just controlling the game from start to finish. Hey, Pro, he's been on the ropes, he's in trouble right now. And these Marines are just slaughtering Mulus because the control is just not quite good enough. Yeah, uh, Hey, Pro needs to get out of there immediately. He does uh, got, have a really big stim right there. Didn't stim all of his forces, only half, which I do really like. You know, the uh, mark of a great player is just stimming certain units, not the entire pack, because that is a waste of medevac energy yeah. and, of course, a waste of health as well. Well, just Ling and Bailings is going to just roll this army. Yeah, so yeah, well. I'm really surprised that we haven't got Siege take down by Nama yet. Maybe that's a mistake in itself. Thor's all coming out, but just a pure Ling bailing army with a few mutas here and there, oh, losing more mutas in the center of the map, is just going to be able to roll this really relatively small army. Yeah, these Mutalists have really not done an awful lot so far. They picked up a unit here and there, but aside from that, they've been fairly useless. And of course, as a direct result, Hey Pro's ground army is not as large as you would like. Still, that is a lot of Bane Links. And they do have plus one, plus one, which will help. He's now having to restart that plus two. So like, oh, that's almost five plus minutes after it was sniped off in the first place. If yeah. he had plus two by now, that would have definitely been very useful against these Marines. He doesn't have it, though, and he has to watch out with that. And Hey Pro able to get out of the way for the time being. That said, Hey Pro's gone up to seven. 70 drones and he's been sitting secure on three bases looking to take a fourth to back that one up as well and Nama's now not really got a lot of offensive options until he starts to really mass up this army. <coughs> Indeed but he's you know had a third base uncontested yep it's you know easy peasy for him right now in terms of his economy but uh oh oh wow oh, oh. surprise he's gets away oh he's, oh, he's getting he away oh that was so close he tried to 
keep them in place with the links from the back, but those Bane links are not as effective as I would have liked. Some it, damage done, but... He can go. He just has to yeah, go. Just uh, this may just kill Hapro. I mean, he doesn't have the economy. His queens are... Uh, it's actually really low in energy, actually, some of them, but I was going to say, he just ha doesn't have that much stuff right now, and uh, these two tanks are going to be able to siege in great position. Will he be able to build enough Ling or Bailing to actually stop this? Great Mulus, though, doing a lot of damage to the reinforcements. Yeah, I have to wonder at this point, actually, if Hey Pro's just really, really sorry. But there's the auto turrets, you see. You know, save two Ravens, build yep. a million auto turrets. Ling and Bailing's are a lot less effective now, and he fortifies this middle position where the third base is just going to simply go down. Yeah, right? have fun going at that with the Thors and the auto turrets. Unfortunately, Nama did lo lose two tanks at the back, which he forgot he to defend. he has to go. This is it. This is yeah. all or nothing for Hapro. Yep, and here it comes. The uh, Banely is crashing down the center, trying to find their way into uh, some meaty targets. However, I'd say that the Marine count for Nama is actually lower than I thought it was. But there you go. There's Link's coming in from the side. And uh, oh no, there's actually a lack of anti-air now. The Mutants could crush this. Nama, oh wow, Heypro throws it backwards. Very, very nicely done. And the Marine count was high for a while. And then a couple of lucky Baneling hits got in there. And suddenly, Nama's left with six Marines. Yeah, really nice play there by Heypro. He should actually just go ahead and mine from the north base instead of long distance mining. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just get the extractors there. And use that as his third base, and then take a fourth base where his third base used to be. Yeah. But he's looking in good position once again. The biggest problem is, because he keeps losing hatcheries and bases, his gas is really low. Therefore, he's had to sacrifice upgrades well, to keep up with the Terran player rather than push himself forward. Yeah. And a, another drop right here from Nama, getting really, really aggressive. Plus two Marines do tend to tear their way through units so fast as he comes through here. But by the looks of it, at this point, oh, he's... Oh, no, the muters. Ah, yes, hi. The we... lings are just watching. Yeah, they don't really care. And that's... That, that... Oh, that's kind of sad. Yeah, when... it is It is a bit depressing because to look at, Because muters are so expensive. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of a throwaway, honestly. And Nama's also had the opportunity, while the muters were busy dealing with that, to re-siege up in the center. And he's cleaned out a lot of this creep spread as well. And he's about to drop in the main base, too. Well, he has dropped in the main base. He just hasn't done anything. There it is. Stim goes down. Queen energy incredibly high throughout all this pressure now. And also, at the same time, Hapro is charging through the center. There's too many Marines. Not enough bailings due to not enough gas. GG, ladies and gentlemen. The first game in this series goes to Nama. Yep. Hey Pro making a lot of slow ups there, and as I said, I have to wonder how tired he really is after MLG. Because he's just had to fly all the way over, he's had a couple of days break, and now he's right into this, and jet lag is a factor. And I'm sorry to put a pause in this, but I gotta go to the toilet. I'm, I gotta you go. do that, you I do that. Go, so. That's fine, we can go to some commercials as is required anyway. You I'm are back. watching DreamHack Winter 2011, and we are in the middle of a series between Nama and Hey Pro. We will be right back.